Your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the elusive Target Arcade, and today's arcade, the Deja Vu's. Uh, this is a free level arcade, starting in Mendoza, and we have one target available, Miss Joanne Bayswater, and our additional complication is that we have additional enforcers throughout the map to certain disguises. So for today's challenge we will be starting undercover in the tasting room and the only items we need to bring with us will be a vial of lethal poison and some coins. So right from the start and off the bat we are going to leave the bar area and we're going to make our way as quickly as we can up to the barbecue area which is just above us up the stairs here uh, be aware there are a number of enforcers in this area so we are going to have to be a bit wary but we're going to make our way to the bar at the back here and you will see that there is a bar with two young ladies one is an enforcer she's just going to wander off and there is the buffet table next to it we're going to crouch down right by that buffet table, select our coins and throw one just over the barrel just in front of us. That will distract the enforcer waiter away from the table for a moment and a moment is all we need to poison the hors d'oeuvres. And we're then going to make our way a safe distance away and get into a crowd of people. And all we have to do now is await the arrival of our target, who is the pretty young blonde lady in the white pants suit. And she's gonna turn up and investigate a few things, have a few conversations, before eventually making her way over to the buffet. So she's going to interrogate the enforcer waiter over by the buffet, uh, asking him about whether he's actually let anyone poison the food or not and he insists that no one has been near the food no one that he has seen anyway because we have most definitely been near the food and eventually Miss Bayswater will sample the hors d'oeuvres Target eliminated the money is being wired to your account 47 now head towards an exit Right you are Diana so with the target dealt with, all that's left for us to do is to make our way to the nearest safe exit. There are only two exits in Mendoza and the nearest safe exit is the Grape Fields. Uh, luckily once we get down past the barbecue area there are no more enforcers to worry about so we have a clean shot straight for the exit. So there we go, level 1 taken care of and the added complication wasn't too bad for this one a couple of extra enforcers in the area we needed to be in but we managed to get past them easily enough so moving on to level two and this is going to be set in dartmoor and this is for me at least where things will go horribly horribly wrong so for this challenge we have, as usual, our one target and as usual extra enforcers on the map and we have the optional objective of retrieving the painting whilst we're on the mission, which we will achieve. So for this one we're going to be starting in the staff room undercover as a copper and we're going to bring with us some coins, a silence pistol and I've opted to bring with me a hobby knife but there is one available on the map. So right from the start and off the bat we need to get out of the kitchen area and into the locker room. There is an enforcer around so we have to be relatively quick and observant but once we're in the locker room we're gonna crouch down render the housemaid unconscious at the mirror hide her body in the canvas crate provided and then we're going to take up station against the wall here 
uh, I think this is a shower area uh, along with the toilet we're gonna pull out our silence pistol and we are just going to wait here for a grand total of around 15 real-time minutes so go away make yourself a coffee come back and eventually our target will present himself and we're gonna just land two in his back that's Cody Haynes taken care of if you want to find the painting this is the time then find an exit I'll transfer the money to your account so even with a silenced pistol buried deep into someone's back this guard heard the shots so once you have eliminated your target make sure you get him in the canvas crate as quickly as possible and get out of the area being aware of all of the enforcers who have just converged on that spot so with our silent assassin rating well and truly gone we're going to make our way across the building to the ground floor bathroom and we're just going to wait here in this closet until everybody goes back to their usual business this was our location anyway so once everybody has gone back to their business we can then take the soap from the counter by the sinks and we're going to throw that on the floor underneath the window and that's going to attract the attention of one of these super hearing guards from outside of the building and he, when he comes in to investigate we can sneak up behind him render him unconscious and gain his outfit so we're no longer wanted by everyone in the building so if you remember when you exit that area or if you take out your target a lot more silently than I did you won't have anything to worry about and you can come straight here get the guards outfit and make our way up to the second floor now again being very much aware of the added enforcers there are a lot of extra enforcers on this map especially to this guards outfit there was one of them so we need to now make our way up to the second floor which is where Alexa Carlisle's bedroom is and her study and it's the study we are heading for so we're just trying to avoid all of the enforcers and Alexa herself along with the butler and her bodyguard are all at the foot of the stairs to the second floor the butler's just moved away so we're just going to wait for Alexa and her bodyguard to move off which they are now doing thank you very much and we can then make our way up to the second floor via the only staircase and up here we're gonna have to wait for a little while uh, as you can see there is an enforcer at the end of the corridor just outside of Alexa's bedroom and he's facing in our direction basically so what we want to do is wait for one of the housekeeping staff to vacate her local space of influence and there she is now and eventually she will go over and speak to that guard and he will turn to face her and we can then duck across the corridor and into Alexa Carlisle's study where we will immediately encounter another enforcer so we do have to be quick so the young lady has made her way over the guard has turned you did notice I was also keeping an eye out for Alexa on the stairs as well but once we're into the study we're just going to duck straight in up to our left grab the painting off of the wall now head for an exit. and that's everything taken care of all that's left for us to do now is to make good our escape and this is easier said than done because we have the enforcer at the foot of the stairs we have Alexa Carlisle and her bodyguard somewhere on the next floor possibly heading in this direction and we have the enforcer guard out in the corridor so first and foremost we need the enforcer guard in the corridor to be once again engaged in conversation with the housemaid 
we are going to need the enforcer at the foot of the stairs in the position he is currently in and we need Alexa Carlisle and her bodyguard nowhere near the area now unfortunately Alexa has just arrived at the study so what we're going to do is we're going to chance it because we've been here way too long already and we are going to make our way down the stairs and we're just going to bolt for the door here while we still have the opportunity to get out and make our way to the main exit where we first start in the level, the default entrance and are awaiting Harley Davidson or Triumph motorcycle. I'm not very good with motorcycles, all I know is they have two wheels and they're very loud. So all we've got to do now is make it past the number of enforcers on the ground floor here which we managed to successfully do and we now have a free run straight over to our waiting motorcycle so once you've taken out the target remember be very much aware of where everyone is do try and take the target out a little bit more silently a neck break will also be heard so it's not just the gunshot that the supersonic hearing guard will hear so the quieter you can take them out the better but either way be quick and get them in the canvas basket provided so we move on to level three this is the final level of the elusive target escalation and this one again is set in mendoza and is somewhat easy although the restriction of the additional enforcers does play a much more crucial role in this one so we had to think a little bit more outside of the box so we have our one target Philo Newcomb. So for this one, forget what you see on the screen because I forgot to take a screenshot of the loadout. So we will be starting at the sniper's spot undercover as a guard. And the only item we need to be bringing with us will be stored up at the steel pipes and that will be an Egmatic gas grenade in a briefcase. Normally you would just start at the main start and bring a briefcase with you. So here we are back in Mendoza and right from the start and off the bat we have picked this location and the location of our smuggled items for one reason and one reason only. And if we go in in our suit our target and his two guests are all enforcers and it makes it very very difficult to get near him uh, in this guards outfit uh, all we have to worry about enforcer wise once we get into the dance floor area will be our target so we're gonna exit down from the snipers nest retrieve our briefcase and we're gonna make our way down towards the dance floor area and we're just going to stop on the stairs here real quick as I can see our target has not yet arrived and we're going to pull out our magnetic uh, gas grenade in a briefcase and we are going to replace it in that briefcase thus activating it select our detonator and we're just going to wait now for our target to arrive that is Philo Newcomb would be Romeo an established killer so we're just going to keep our distance until he finishes moving. He's going to watch the dancers for a few moments before turning to his guests. And when he does, we're going to zero in on him, on him, get behind him without getting too close and bumping into him. We're going to trigger our gas grenade and he is no longer an enforcer and we don't have to worry about him. He is also going to make his way to the bathroom just inside of the reception area to the uh, bottling room or the condensing room. I can't remember what the name of the room is downstairs. Uh, he's going to make his way into the bathroom. Uh, his two guests will follow but they will stop at the door here. And we can just carry on inside, follow our target into the cubicle 
where he will not only be riotously sick, he will discover that he is also fatally allergic to kittens. Target eliminated. Expect the client's payment and a tasteful thank you card shortly. So for those of you that don't know, many of my drowning videos get flagged for nudity and sex. So the kittens are a necessity. But with our target successfully kittened, we can make our way to the exit. Now there are quite a lot of enforcers down in the great fields. But there is a route through, if you can just find there is one spot where there isn't anybody who isn't an enforcer. And we can make our way to the exit. So there we go, one more elusive target arcade taken care of. Uh, this was quite a challenging one, but not as bad as the one I released early this morning. That was an absolute nightmare. I have been Anubis. And I will see you all in the next video.